Welcome back. Oh, well, that item of clothing was a cardigan named after the 7th Earl of Cardigan, 1797 to 1868. Now, David, moving entirely away from a cardigan, which I know you <laughs> never, ever wear as a deliberate fashion statement. That's true. But you also completely behave at the weekends and you're entirely sober, full of sobriety, but there may be a cocktail somewhere. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> no, I, I do enjoy a, a cocktail now and then, particularly on a Friday afternoon, end of a long week. Um, the word cocktail almost has a cocktail of possible uh, derivations too, which is a, a, an interesting word in itself. The first is that rooster feathers may have been used in the early days as the swizzle sticks uh, for, for these mixed drinks. Gosh, I'll tell you what, I'd really want mine shaken and not stirred in that case. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The other is that uh, coquetiere in French is a, a double-ended uh, egg cup. You can use at either end and that possibly may have been a, a serving vessel for the cocktail, coquetiere. The other is that um, a stopcock, uh, which is the tap on a barrel, having the tailings of a barrel, and tailings are like the dregs, as in mining or also in alcohol. Yeah. So the tailings through the stopcock, that's the cocktail. And just in case there's so many a, possibilities. not enough, there's also a cocktailed horse is a hybrid horse. Um, and that's another, you know, idea because cocktails are also obviously a mixed drink. And finally... In West Africa, there is a word, cockatel, which means scorpion. And there's no doubting that a strong cocktail does have a sting more than your average drink. <laughs> so there's five theories, all of which could be uh, possible. Fascinating derivations. Thank you, David. Let's have a look at the scores. Rob is on seven. Andrew is on 22 as we go into our next letter game. And uh, it's Andrew's turn to choose. Thanks. Can I have a consonant, please, Lily? You can. Thank you, Andrew. Starting with a G. And another one. T. And another one, please. S. And a fourth. F. I'll have a vowel, please. I. Another vowel. A. And another vowel. U. Mm, consonant, please. M. And I'll have a vowel, please. And to finish, E. Thank you, Lily. Let's start the clock. Andrew, how many that time? Nine. Nine. Well, we look forward to hearing that, but uh, Rob, first of all, from you? Also a nine. Also a nine. Excellent. Well, Rob, lead off with your nine, please. Fumigates. That's lovely. Is yours the same? It is fumigates, yes. <laughs> Could you just compare just to uh, verify that you're both singing from that same hymn sheet because uh, we love a nine. Oh, we love a nine. And, in fact, this is very exciting because this is the first nine we've had on the show where not just one but both contestants have found it. And uh, to, absolutely terrific. Um, for some it may have jumped out, others it took that, you know, 29 seconds, but there it is. And f congratulations, both Andrew and, uh, and Rob. Great getting. So, great scoring as well. 18 for both Andrew and Rob for that round, bringing Rob to 25 and Andrew on 40. Well, maybe another nine in the next round. Who knows? Rob, your choice this time. Thank you. Uh, we'll start with a consonant, please. Sure, thanks, Rob. We're starting with an R. And another consonant. T. And a vowel, please, Lily. I. And another consonant. B. Another consonant, please. D. And another vowel, please. A. A vowel again. E. Another consonant, please. C. And one more vowel, please. And finally, O. Let's start the clock.
Well, it's a tough act to follow a nine, but Rob, how many for you? I got a seven, thanks. And Andrew? Uh, stick with a seven. OK, two sevens. What was yours, Rob? Mine was cordite. And yours, Andrew? Carbide. Well, a very, very kind of chemical twist here. There are. In fact, uh, we had um, carbide not so long ago and carbine, I remember, in one mix. Both fine, by the way, they, uh, the two chemical flavoured sevens. Um, and uh, hiding in there, in fact, is another nine. Uh, however, it is a fairly uh, obscure one, and that is Bacteroid, B-A-C-T-E-R-O-I-D, which describes uh, the sort of rod-like uh, bacteria to be found in, uh, in some organic compounds. Yeah, oh, lovely work. Lovely work all round. So, uh, seven each to Rob and Andrew. Let's go to our next numbers game, and uh, Andrew, make the selection for us this time, please. Thanks. Could I have a two large, please, and four from the bottom row? Two large and four from the bottom row. Thank you, Andrew. Starting with two, one, five and four. And the two large, 25 and 75. The target number is 477. Let's head for that target. Andrew, how close? Uh, four seven seven. Well, well done, Rob. What about you? Four seven six. Oh, just one off. Andrew, take us through your method, please. Okay, um, twenty five plus seventy five. Twenty five plus seventy five, a hundred. Minus four is ninety six. Minus the four gives you ninety six. Multiply that by five. By the five. And it's uh, four eighty, I hope. Four. 80, let me just double check that. Yep. Then you've got two and one left, which make three. Subtract those. Subtract the three. Gives you 477. Very nice indeed. Well done, Andrew. But would you have used the same method to get there, Lily? I do, in fact, have a different way. And oh, OK. I can, show, us, show us your approach. I can show you my approach. Now, 75 by the five gives you 375. Uh, four by the 25 is 100. If you add that on, it gives you 475. And if you add the remaining two, it gives you 477. Very neat indeed. And that means that Andrew, of course, scores 10 points. Our score is Rob on 32, Andrew with a total of 57. As we go into another break, and that means our final word mix for you for the week. It is key tint an amount, size or weight. I'll be back very shortly. Next in World News Australia, the fight of their lives. Julia Gillard and Tony Abbott heading for a cliffhanger finish. And the leaders speak to SBS ahead of the vote. Details shortly. Who will win the 2010 election? Join me, Anton Enos, and Chief Political Correspondent Karen Middleton for the election special, the latest results and live crosses into key seats. Vote 2010 on SBS, Saturday at 8.30. Yakult, made in Australia. Each batch is subject to over 120 quality control checks. If you're looking for a quality probiotic to help promote digestive balance, there's really only one choice. Yakult, everybody, every day. Not everyone knows our new name, but we've got a track record going back 145 years. We haul around 500,000 tonnes of coal a day, but that's just for starters. We play an essential role in Australia's two biggest exports, but we take care of the little things too. We're a major force in rail freight transport, but we see an even brighter future. QR National, moving a nation. Introducing Macca's Limited Edition Angus the Third, a juicy slab of Australia's favourite Angus, a punchy tomato chilli relish, and plenty of colourful salad. Macca's Angus the Third. It's the hot new taste and a little bit fancy. 
Every year, more than one and a half thousand bike riders are seriously injured in accidents with motor vehicles. It's not about blame, it's about the cost of complacency and the impact on both the bike rider and the motorist. So just leave a meter. A meter matters. At Mercedes-Benz, you'll now find class-leading offers across our class-leading range of vehicles. These exceptional opportunities are limited. So in figures, you'll want to visit your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer today.